Hi, this is Dwayne with Big Dog Seatbelt Company. I'm going to do a quick video and show you how to measure your dog for Big Dog Seatbelt. I'm looking for three measurements. One is neck girth, one is chest girth, and one is body length. Real simple to do. If you have an extra person that can help you, it's probably easier. Um, otherwise, you know, it's not that difficult to do by yourself. If you have a tailor type tape, one of these real flexible ones, these work great. If you don't, just a small tape measure, something like this little measure, tape measure, as long as it's flexible, okay? So, first thing you're going to want to do is do the neck girth, which is around your dog's neck. So, at the lowest point on the neck, right at where the shoulders are, I can put my fingers right here and I'm feeling the bones in his shoulders and his neck. That's low, as low as I want to go. His neck is 24 inches, okay? So, again, See where his collar is, where I'm measuring is about two inches below that, right where the, the, the bones are in his shoulder, okay? So we want to go real low on this, because the big dog seatbelt is designed to pull on the shoulder part here, not on the neck, so we need to go low. The next spot is exactly where you measured this. Just put your tape measure, which is again about two inches below, straight down his spine, right to where the tail starts. You'll, you'll feel a little spot right there where the tail starts. With him, it's going to be 31 inches. So, um, again, start up here, then from the same spot, go straight down his back, right down his spine, to the tail. The last measurement you need to get for me is the chest girth, which is around the chest. Usually the best spot is about an inch or two behind the front legs. That's usually the widest point. So just take your tape measure, go straight up, and we have a 38-inch chest on Apollo. So real simple, neck girth, chest girth, body length. It's really important that you try to get the body length as accurate as you can. I, um, I do add a little bit for the neck and chest for growth and just plain old adjustment. The um, top part and the chest are not that adjustable. So. This is important, so just remember, do the neck first, go exactly the same spot that you measure the neck, straight down the spine to the start of the tail, and that's as easy as it is. Thanks again, this is Dwayne Big Dog Seatbelt Company, and this is my buddy Apollo, about 19 months old, 180 pounds. So, um, I make big dog seatbelts for big dogs, and this is about as big as you can get. Alright, thank you, goodbye.